Yo guys, what is up, Davis here. So this console, you can see the case in the background. We have partnered with them and they are the number one leading stealth server right now. So uh, yeah, somebody's gonna be winning this console. It's gonna be done very soon. So stay tuned for the next video. This console will be given away. You'll be able to win this console. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go over the internals before we get the console done because uh, most of the time I don't do this and a lot of people they never get to see the inside of the console and you know what it's what's actually inside of it so basically this has a Dolnan v5 my chip my personal chip that I designed um, back in 2019 so and I know I know how I haven't posted for a while so um, I appreciate you guys watching this video whoever watches it but uh, this is also the triple NAND I'm waiting for my AT Tiny 84s to come back in. Uh, this is one I designed in 2020, and these are perfect working chips. Uh, if you're inter interested in one of these, hit me up. Um, they're four wire installs. I also have adapters for Coronas and uh, Jaspers and Falcons and stuff like that. So even a four gigabyte Corona. So these will work on a four gigabyte Corona as well. Um, I have the adapter. You have to get the adapter for those though, obviously. But anyway, so this is a 16 megabyte Corona. It's a dual NAND. And this is a ASP3. Uh, it has, it's the RGH 1.2. So you can see right there, there's a 10K resistor. And uh, it looks a little different from normal. That's because this is a five, this is a five wire install. This is RGH 1.2 by this method is uh, created by Josh Davidson or Octo 450. I'm sure you guys know who he is. So anyway, um, this is kind of similar to RGH 3 install. The the blue wire right there, it goes underneath the board to the X clamp or sorry, uh, the PLL under the X clamp. I can show you a picture right here. Instead of removing the X clamp, um, but it's not the right one. There we go. So yeah, just like that for your RGH3, it's the same point. And these are the files right here that I'm using. So specifically this one right here, if I can go down a little bit. This is the exact timing file I'm using for this console. So yeah, I just wanna show you guys how it boots. Let me show you the Dolan install. This is the Dolan V5. It is a, this one is a five wire install because of the adapter. Um, Cause this dual NAND and triple NAND are made for a Trinity specifically. So this adapter adapts it for the Corona obviously. So um, yeah, five wire install, this one goes to the sink. Pretty easy. The other one, you might not be able to see it right here, but the black wire that goes up here to your LED. So and speaking of LEDs, let me not, smash that one but anyway we should be there we go we're on the first NAND and that's the second NAND so we'll stay on the first NAND this is the RGH side free boot whatever you want to call it instant boot I'll turn it back off we'll boot gel this time to show you Instant boot again. It's like that every single time. <clears throat> so yeah, I will do it one more time. Just to show you. And it just it does it every single time. So yeah guys, be sure to stay tuned. Uh there's gonna be uh, probably some kind of link in in uh trap dens discord. I'll have a link uh, in the description, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post some more stuff about this giveaway. This console is gonna be super sweet, man. Like the engraving is perfect. And shout out to Calmaster56 for doing the engraving. Um, but I do I do stuff like this all the time. So if you guys are interested in a case cutout or customizations for 360 or Xbox One, uh, hit me up. I can do. I mean, I can do RGH installs. I can do. Triple NAND, dual NAND installs, case cuts, engraving, 
you know, whatever you need. I also do custom designs and shit like that too. So, um, and not to mention, I'm into, I'm into ATV repairs too now. So, uh, I haven't, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I apologize for that. But yeah, I have four frames right here. These are, these are bikes I'm going to be building here soon. And yeah, I just been, I got Xboxes on ATVs, you know, like that's just how it is. So, um, and we also been smashing consoles. I'm sure somebody, one of you guys watching this video has seen me smash these two consoles the other night. But uh, yeah, these actually have, these are all trash consoles, but they have good cases. So these I will be cutting the case, the top cases only, uh, and I'll be selling just the cases like finished, ready to install kind of type deal stuff. So um, yeah, I, I smashed the, the shit consoles with broken cases. So, uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm gonna get back to work and finish this thing. So hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I hope somebody enjoys this console. So thank you guys, appreciate it.